Guys, the bad guy here, and I want to recount some of the best moments of the year at Bellator MMA. With 17 action-packed events, six new champions, two $1 million World Grand Prix tournaments, and countless memorable moments. Guys, I'd say it's safe to say that 2022 will go down as one of the very best in Bellator history. So to cap off the year in style, I've been enlisted by Bellator to review five of the best knockouts of 2022. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Chael Sonnen's Fade 5 Knockouts of 2022. In at number five, we have Andre Korshkov's devastating spinning back kick against Chance Reencontre. When executed perfectly, the power generated by a spinning strike to the solar plexus is enough to send any fighter tumbling to the mat. Andre Korshkov is a master of his craft and he needed just 38 seconds to land clean with this strike, giving Reencontre five broken ribs, a punctured lung, and a bruised kidney. Ouch! Korshkov is able to get his opponent to freeze. That's what made him a sitting target and that is what made this blow so devastating. Number four, Gaylord Masalski knocks out my teammate, Austin Vanderford. There are very few guarantees in life, but whenever Bellator MMA rolls into Dublin, Ireland, it for sure is going to be spectacular. Back in February, the Irish faithful were treated to one of the best knockouts of the year where Austin Vanderford challenged Gegard Masousi for the middleweight world championship. And with the roar of the crowd spurring him on, MMA legend Musousi would roll back the years to finish Vanderford in just 85 seconds. I gotta tell you guys, in this sport, your goals can change fast. And whatever your strategy, whatever your plan is for a night to get over on Musousi, as soon as you feel his power, it will make you reassess. You will start to question yourself. But the bad news is when Musousi throws one punch, there's three more coming right behind it. At number three, it's Joel Romero retiring Melvin Manhoof. Another mesmerizing moment from the three arena in Dublin appears on our list and this time featuring one of the scariest men in all of MMA at Bellator 285. Olympic medalist Joel Romero and Melvin Manhoof collided in what would be the final fight in the illustrious career of the Dutch combat icon. Despite a valiant effort from No Mercy Manhoof, the soldier of God would send him out on his shield with a relentless ground and pound KO. Yoel Romero is an Olympic medalist, but we don't see him on top as often as you would think. You've got to get on top and you saw an urgency from Yoel to force that position because he respected the power of Melvin. In at number two, the assassin slays the dragon. Back at Bellator 281. Fabian Edwards earned the moniker of the legend killer, becoming the first fighter in five years to knock out Lyota Machida. What made the victory even more impressive was how the younger brother of UFC champion Leon Edwards was able to get the finish inside of one round. Look, making contact with Machida is very difficult to do. I've competed with him, but I've also had three teammates prepare. We're currently 0-4 against the Dragon, and the hardest thing to do is to get a hand on it. This is one of the things that Edwards truly deserves credit for. It was Bellator 279 when Rafion Stott knocked out Juan Archuleta. They call him Supa for a reason, earning the coveted number one spot on our best knockouts of 2022 is Bellator interim bantamweight champion Rafion Stott. In the opening round of the bantamweight World Grand Prix, Stott faced Juan Archuleta to crown the interim champion following the injury of Sergio Pettis. And despite the added pressure to the occasion, as the fighters began their road to a $1 million prize, Stotts delivered big time. Rafion Stotts loves to show us the control that he can use through wrestling, but don't ever forget, this is a Duke Rufus disciple. I think it was the element of surprise. I think Archuleta was expecting a little more wrestling, particularly in the open round. I think that's what opened up the strike. So what do you think? Do you agree with the list? Make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe for more hard-hitting Bellator MMA content. And don't forget, we'll see you all on February 4th, where one of my greatest rivals, Fedor Emelianenko, will be challenging Ryan Bader for the World Heavyweight Championship. That is going to be live on CBS, and this event is going to be unmissable.